Hi, Barb and Therapy. I'm Misella. I'm Anga. Welcome to our 700 square foot apartment in Toronto, Canada. This home is very personal to us because we design everything ourselves. We design how it's going to look like. We made everything ourselves. I think what describes our style is minimalistic and Scandinavian. Every furniture and the decor in our home must have purpose. My favorite part of the home is the kitchen. Before the kitchen was, was dark and old and we wanted the kitchens to be the center of our home. Every detail in the kitchen we thought of it carefully. We use a lot of bins and labels like um, Lazy Susan or jars to make sure everything is organized. We put away everything right after we use it. To be a minimalist is to have less clutter. We are both from Indonesia and I'm working here as an engineer. I graduated with a nursing degree but I'm currently a stay-at-home mom. We live here in our homes with our three little children. They're one, two, and three years old. Living with three little boys is a lot of fun and a lot, a lot of work, work. too. <laughs> of course, it's a lot of fun because we get to play all day. Kids like to run around and they like to, to go to one side of the house to another side of the house. And I think having an open space for them to be able to do that and just to be kids really what we thought about when we redesigned this home. In the living room, my favorite is actually the waterproof pad. I believe that the waterproof pad is a must if you have little children. This is the Skip Hop waterproof pad. We just bought it from Amazon. Our proudest DIY project was the kids' room. This was originally a den and we converted it into a really fun, imaginative room. For this room, we picked a forest theme where we try to make the cabinet and the overhead cabinets above the beds look like a, a big tree trunk with a branch. We also have this diaper changing stations for our baby. We also created a, a small sneaky storage for the diaper bin because we don't want that to be visible. We want to make sure it's hidden. We rotate the toys every two weeks. We place a few toys on the shelf and the rest of them are on the overhead cabinet space. I think whenever we rotate it, they think it's a new toys. <laughs> they still got the <laughs> yeah. same level of excitement as, as if they got new toys. Since the pandemic, I've been working from home, so that's definitely a challenge. It's hard to find some quiet time. Sometimes when we live with three young kids that love to scream and play around. But right now, I think I'm getting used to it and actually enjoying it. During break time, I can see my kids, play around with them for five minutes and then go back focusing at work. Here is our main bedroom. We turn part of the closet into an office space for me to work from home. We don't actually have that much clothes to begin with. We only keep the clothes that are really meaningful to us. So the closet was half empty. So it just make a good use of a uh, closet space. We also have our little projector for a movie night. It's easy to set up. The special item in our home is our Luma lampshade. We own a small business where we handmade origami lampshades. We originally just made it for ourselves and it turned out really beautiful. We got the inspirations from our son. He loves shapes and um, geometrical objects. The way they're so creative kind of inspired us to be creative as well. We love to work together in everything. Um, that's our actually our favorite like date activity. We wouldn't be married if we're not a good team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of stressful work that we do here, right? Uh, with the kids and stuff. So we have to make sure that we're we are a good same team. team. Yeah. yeah. I think for me, the definition of home is where my family is. We use a lot of photos of our kids. We use a lot of their artworks to make it really personal and meaningful to us. I know it sounds like cheesy but home is really where the heart is right <laughs>